Welcome to Electron Online and now let's do our last example in the series the odds in favor of and the odds against. So in this case let's say we're playing the slot machine and we were told that the odds against are 1.1 to 1. So we want to know what is the probability of winning and what is the expected value for double or nothing. So let's say that you put a quarter in, if you win you get a quarter back, if you don't you don't get your quarter back the machine keeps the quarter. So just to keep things simple. And so that gives you kind of a feel for, well, let's say you gamble $100 in a single night. What do you expect to lose when you gamble the $100 if the odds against the slot machine is 1.1 to 1? All right, let's give it a try. So the odds against, the definition, is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event occurring. And again, the probability of the event occurring is the probability of winning. Okay, so the odds are 1.1 to 1, so um, hmm, how do we do that? Well, the odds against is 1.1 to 1, so let's go ahead and plug that in instead of the odds against. So we have 1.1 to 1 must therefore equal 1 minus the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event occurring. So now we go ahead and cross multiply. We put that over here, put that over there, so we have 1.1 times the probability of the event occurring is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event occurring. Of course, 1 times that, you just keep that. Now we move this over to the left side. So we have 1.1 times the probability of the event occurring plus, because the, ne the negative changes to a plus when you cross the equal sign, 1 times the probability of the event occurring equals 1. So that's 2.1 times the probability of the event occurring. I'm simply adding the two terms together. And now we divide both sides by 2.1 and the probability of the event occurring is equal to 1 divided by 2.1 of course with a calculator we'll find out what is equal to so 1 divided by 2.1 that is equal to 0 0.476 so that's equal to 47.6 percent so that's not too bad so in this case you have a 47.6 percent chance of winning and that means a 52.4 percent chance of losing so what is the expected value? What can you expect to win or lose? Well, in this case, you're probably going to expect to lose. And if it's, an, let's say, an even game, meaning if you put in a quarter and you get a quarter back when you win, that's double or nothing. If you put in a quarter and you lose, you lose your quarter. That's basically double or nothing. They'll double your quarter or you get nothing. So the expected value, the expected value for x is equal to if that's the probability of winning, we can say it's 0 0.476 times 1 quarter if you win, and then a minus 0 0.524 times 1 if you were to lose, right? There's a slightly higher probability that you will lose. So what will that be added together? So 0.476 minus 0 0.524 so the equal that the expected value in that case would be equal to a minus 0.048. So in other words, you'll expect to lose 4.8 cents per dollar invested or per dollar plate. So you put in four quarters, you can expect to lose 4.8 cents, a nickel. If you put in $100, you can expect to lose $4.8 or $4.80. If you put in $1,000 a quarters over a single night, you can expect to lose $48. So if that's worth it to you, if the fun of putting 4,000 quarters in the slot machine and pushing that button is worth losing $48, then that's what you do and have fun. All right, so now hopefully you'll understand a lot better what we mean by odds against and odds in favor of. And that's how it's done.